I will briefly share my thoughts about the delivery problem, which I think is still needs to be. I know, uh, Ramos, you encouraged us to only focus on delivery as a priority, but I think we still need to think of it from a larger perspective, the same as Ralph has suggested, that we need to think of about this ongoing turbulence that our civilization is facing, um, not only as a threat to present systems of governance and uh, systems of education, but also as an opportunity, uh, because an ongoing transformation that is happening invites us to rethink education for the future. And when we think about that context, we can look from multiple perspectives. I think the lens of only amplifying or scaling up uh, the uh, existing learning models looks at a very short-termistic uh, issue, whereas we are facing a massive transition of our civilization to a new paradigm. It is a paradigm shift that requires rethinking of every aspect of our civilization. It actually requires rethinking of how we govern our society, how we uh, connect generations, how we think about the relationship with the planet, and uh, um, the process that is currently happening outside education in, in our societies is the invention of what we can call the regenerative paradigm, the regenerative economy, which, uh, of course, digital paradigm has been very uh, widely discussed in the, present, in, in the past decades, but it's part of the transition because we, we clearly recognize that it's not fundamentally sustainable and we need to find a way of living that is sustainable. Why am I uh, talking about it? Because, of course, education has to be part of that transition and we need to rethink it in terms of creating less hierarchical, more inclusive, more opportunity-based and truly lifelong um, uh, learning models that encourage everyone to uh, self-actualize, but also to be part of larger communities that create that possible future. So this is all about the transition that I, we call in our research the ecosystemic uh, paradigm, which of course is, mirrors that idea of uh, regenerative society on the level of education. It, it, it does have the elements that ha have been discussed in the paper shared to us before the uh, session that it is uh, about personalization, uh, lifelong learning, uh, using of uh, digital delivery and so on. But it also invites us to think about every facet of our society as a learning opportunity. And this is what I think we need to start focusing on, that the, 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 the delivery bottleneck disappears if we start rethinking uh, uh, the, the way that our society works. If we truly become a learning society and, and we start seeing uh, that every uh, working opportunity, every uh, social engagement or so social ac ac activist opportunity is also a learning opportunity. So how do we organize it? That's, that's probably the main question. And, and that is where the delivery becomes part of a larger context of orga connecting all the learning opportunities that exist in our society in, into a truly integrating model, which invites us to really create uh, networks and connections between multiple learning institutions to support lifelong learning, both in, in, uh, in physical learning spaces and online learning spaces, in, in spaces that are directly engaged with learners, but also communities that influence learners from multiple perspectives. And, and when we think from that perspective, we start to recognize that there is immense amount of multiple opportunities for learners that go through their life learning cycle in different aspects of it. Of course, higher education for young people is just one part of that larger cycle. And what we need to do, what we need to focus on is connecting these learning opportunities to support uh, lifelong learning, connect online learning, connect um, every opportunity that exists on the city or region based. And there are many, many projects that already start to work on that. I've just visited an incredible uh, space in, in the UK, in Doncaster, where they're creating a, a, a university city for what it provides uh, opportunity for every learner of every age to be engaged and find their uh, self-actualization opportunities. We also need to start to think about learning uh, platforms uh, from a new perspective, the opening opportunity of uh, metaverses, 
that are inviting us to, to create more learning spaces for everyone, not only the traditional delivery models, the traditional online learning, but really what is going to happen in the 2020s is opening up of many, many more possibilities. So what is the role of existing universities in that? I think they are very important in, the, in this ongoing process as integrators of this process. So they, they, they should not wall themselves uh, from, from the rest of society and only think about how do we build up more campuses or how do we deliver more from our, ourselves. They need to see themselves at, at, at the nexus point, at the connection point with every other aspect of the society. And if they do, they start to become integrators of many communities of practice that exist in the society for lifelong learning, for cultivation of multiple types of innovations, technological, social, cultural, and more, and support of every type of learner cohort. And in that capacity, that's, that's my last slide and my last message, I think what we are facing is, an, uh, uh, and I want to build up on what Ralph said, we really need to use this current opportunity of breaking up of the existing model as an invitation to create something totally new. And if we just replicate in online space, in delivery space, the, the model of the past, this is not viable. And this is not what, what, what the future, what the future generations, what the future society needs. We need to start thinking about learning delivery model as part of the content, not just uh, the, the, the solution to delivery, because in learning spaces, how we learn, is, is what we learn. It's, it's essentially the same. So the, the learning delivery models necessarily should embrace the idea that they are learning spaces that cultivate the future. And if we start thinking in that perspective, we will see that there are many more opportunities to solve the delivery problem than, than we actually currently think. Thank you very much.